welcome to Harrisburg Multicultural Festival's Diversity Celebration event. My name is Shreya and I'm going to be your host for tonight. We are bringing this special video for the people of Harrisburg as we celebrate April as a month of diversity. Our theme for this special month is celebrating diversity by giving back to communities in Harrisburg. And we will accomplish this by a food drive with support from all of our volunteers and donors. Stay tuned to learn more details about how you can participate in this goal. We have a very special message from our guest speaker, followed by a performance, a traditional game, and additional announcements for our upcoming food drive event. And now it's my honor to introduce Ms. Diamond Staten Williams, council member. We are all in for a treat today. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Ms. Diamond Staten Williams. Hi everyone, I'm Councilwoman Diamond Staten Williams. I've been asked to talk about diversity and inclusion and what it means to me here at Harrisburg. So diversity to me means understanding each individual's uniqueness while recognizing and respecting our differences. Actively engaging, learning from, and including others who are different from you helps in the process of inclusion. Being exposed to others' experiences and perspectives gives us the ability to be better neighbors and friends who are supportive of one another through good and bad and who stand up for each other when things are not right. Diversity gives us greater access to talents, teaches us empathy, and helps close gaps in understanding where barriers exist. As neighbors, we should strive to be diverse and inclusive. Doing so helps us make our community of Harrisburg a better place. Hello, my name is Melody Shanahan, and I'm very excited to represent the country of Mexico in Harrisburg Multicultural Festival. I am also very proud to be in the first generation of Mexican American in my family. CF2 South Curia team, and this video is made by Navia, Renly, Vela, and Philip. Today we'll be talking about some things about South Korea, such as the geographical location, climate of South Korea, the history, the government, the economy, the religion, culture, and more. 
South Korea, officially known as the Republic of Korea, is located at the southern end of the Korean Peninsula, bordering the Yellow Sea and Sea of Japan. South Korea neighbors North Korea and has an area of approximately 37,901 square miles and a population of 51.64 million, around which 10 million reside in Seoul, the capital. Known for its vast mountains and beautiful landscape, mountains and hills cover about 70% of its land. A well-known geographical location is the DMZ or Demilitarized Zone, which is a highly guarded area between the border of North and South Korea. Although there have been advancements towards peace, tensions and animosity are still existent between the two countries. Now moving to the climate. South Korea's climate is temperate, consisting of four distinct seasons. Winters tend to be long, cold, and dry, whereas summers tend to be short, hot, and moist. Although not as susceptible to typhoons compared to China and Japan, there tend to be one to three typhoons a year. After Japan's defeat in 1945, the United States and the Soviet Union divided the peninsula into two zones of influence. By August of 1948, the pro-U.S. Republic of Korea or South Korea was established in Seoul, led by the strongly anti-communist Soviet Union. While in the north, the Soviets installed Kim Il-sung as the first premier of the Democratic People Republic of Korea, better known as DPRK, with its capital at Pyongyang. In 1961, a military coup put General Park Chung-hee into power. In the 1960s and 1970s, under Park's regime, South Korea enjoyed a period of rapid industrial development and economic growth throughout Korea. Hello, my name is Brittany Jordan, and here's a little bit more about South Korea. The official name of South Korea is the Republic of Korea. They associate with being together with North Korea and not separate. South Korea was established in 1948 as a democratic republic constitutionally. However, it wasn't fully a democracy until 1987, President Roh Tae-woo committed to the democratization of South Korean politics. South Korea's currency is the won. It has one of the strongest economies in Eastern Asia due to manufacturing and service industries. These include banking, cars, and electronics. The major companies within South Korea include Samsung, Hyundai, Kia, LG, and more. Coal, graphite, and lead are among the natural resources South Korea supplies. In South Korea, major religions including Buddhism, Christianity, Confucianism, Islam, and many more live peacefully together. The country has no national religion and freedom of religion is constitutionally guaranteed. The native language of Korea is called Korean and the traditional alphabet called Hangul consists of 24 basic characters, 14 consonants, and 10 vowels. Hangul was invented in 1446 as the first Korean alphabet and was developed to be one of the easiest to learn written languages in the world. However, it does differ from that of the English language. And one of these primary differences that is, a, is that there is a formal version of the language used for speaking to older people and strangers. Traditional Korean music is the art of combining vocal or instrumental sounds for beauty or form of emotional expression. Vocal music is an important facet of the Korean tradition. And the dominant narrative form of music performed today is the folk genre pansori. It is traditionally formed by a singer-narrator and a drummer. Modern Korean pop music, often called K-pop, has become a global phenomenon in the past decade. Many fans cite that the reason for this is because K-pop singers, often called idols, can excel at a variety of different subgenres such as rap, bubblegum pop, ballads, and rock. Traditional Korean attire, for semi-formal or formal purposes, is called hanbok, and is worn during traditional occasions such as festivals, celebrations, and ceremonies. Although Korean food is becoming more popular overseas, the national food of the country is still kimchi, a dish of fermented cabbage. Hi everyone, my name is Maria Mateen, and me and my mom are going to be teaching you how to make Bangladeshi mishti doi. Doi is a word that means curd and mishti means sweet. So this recipe is a sweet curd dessert that is often served at weddings or eaten during any celebratory occasion. We love to enjoy this dessert on a hot summer's day or even in the cool fall and it's so comforting. We really hope you enjoyed this video. 
and maybe make this recipe for yourself one day. An important thing to notice here is that we're preheating it to 300 degrees to get the oven nice and hot, but then you have to lower that to 170 after it's preheated and then bake for two hours. And that's the recipe for doi! I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as my family and I enjoyed finishing the end product. Have a great day, thank you for watching, and bye! Limbo is a traditional popular dance contest that originated from the island of Trinidad which is located very close to the continent of South America. The game originated as a dance event that took place at wakes in Trinidad. Limbo was popularized by a dance pioneer named Julia Edwards, who is known as the First Lady of Limbo. Together, her and her company toured widely throughout the Caribbean, Europe, North America, South America, Asia, and Africa in the 1960s and later on. There is a film called Julia and Joyce by a Trinidadian and American dance researcher and choreographer named Sanja Dumas, which features the evolution of Limbo and the contribution of Julia Edwards to the explosion of its popularity. Consistent with certain African beliefs, the dance reflects the whole cycle of life. The dancers move under a pole that is gradually lowered and they emerge on the other side as their heads clear the pole, as in the triumph of life over death. Limbo was originally treated as a dance contest at popular dance events or funerals, but now it is played throughout the world as an enjoyable game for individuals of all ages. These are the rules of limbo. 
A horizontal bar, known as the limbo bar, is placed on top of two vertical bars. All the contestants attempt to go under the bar with their backs facing toward the floor. Whoever knocks the bar off or falls is eliminated from the contest. When passing under the bar, the players must bend backwards and no part of their bodies is allowed to touch the bar and no part other than their feet may touch the ground. After everyone has completed their turns, the bar is lowered slightly and the contest continues. The contest ends when only one person can successfully go under and cross the bar without penalty. The world record for the lowest male limbo dancer is held by Dennis Walston, who successfully attempted a six-inch bar in March of 1991. The world record for the lowest female limbo dancer is held by Shamika Charles, who is a 26-year-old woman from Trinidad who lives in Buffalo, New York. On September 16, 2010, she successfully danced under a bar of 8.5 inches above the ground. Namaste. My name is Vaishali Vetal. And I'm Richard Navetal. Today we are representing India and I'm going to talk about Indian clothes and Indian jewelry. This is Dupatta with Gotapati work. This is from Gujarat. This is Fulkari Dupatta. This is thread work with sequences. This is from Punjab. This is also Fulkari Dupatta with thread work. This is Jude Dupatta with golden thread work and embroidery on it. This is Lucknowi work on Plazo. You will get in all the clothes. This is also Lucknowi work. It's on Sari. This is machine work Lucknowi. This is also Lucknowi thread work. It's hand woven. And there are different different types of saris. This is handloom sari. This is embroidery sari. This is all machine embroidery. This is cotton sari. This is sari with cut dana work and it's on net. Beautiful cut work. This is Banarashi tissue sari. This is Tepchi work sari. This work called Tepchi work. It's from Lucknow, Rajgarhana work. And this is Pethani, Maharashtra's famous sari. This is pure silk one. Pure silk one sari. And uh, it's a uh, resham work. This is this represents Maharashtra. There are different different types of jewelry earrings. These are 1 gram gold earrings. 
दीज आर ऑक्सडाइज इिंग्स दीज आर थ्रेड वर्क इिंग्स दीस विथ डायम एंड पर्ल वर्क These are necklaces. This is in uh, gold finishing necklace. This is oxidized necklace. This is a uh, mirror work, and the mirror are rears. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you on behalf of Harrisburg Multicultural Festival team for joining us today to celebrate our Diversity Month and supporting our food drive. Harrisburg Multicultural Festival team's endeavor over the past few years has been to connect our diverse communities so that they can share their rich tradition, values, and culture through arts, music, dance, traditional games, and food, so that we can embrace our similarities and differences. Join us together. we can make a big difference